Hey guys, it's Dave-O. Uh, today I'm going to give a little tutorial on the um, new smartwatch, uh, the Garmin Vivo Active. It has uh, smart notifications, has uh, certain widgets that have calendar events, music controls, it'll give you the weather, and of course it has your uh, daily step counter. Um, it's a very nice device, very thin device, um, very light. It uh, has a bunch of features on it that you can do, um, like a run, bike, swim, golf, walk. So it's, it's a pretty good device if you're a triathlete. You can do all those different um, activities on it. Um, but what I'm going to show you today is how to uh, configure the notifications. Um, all these things that come up that you can swipe on are all called widgets. And uh, for the majority of the widgets, you actually need to have the Garmin Connects downloaded on your phone for them to function correctly. Um, this tutorial will be specifically for the iPhones. Um, I don't have an Android so I can't speak on how they're configured. But you download the Garmin Connects app and um, to get a lot of those no, uh, widgets running you actually have to have the uh, Garmin Connects running in the background. Notifications and your step counter roll will be there. Um, the step counter is built into the watch. Uh, notifications, as long as you have it connected to your Bluetooth for the phone, you do not have to have the Garmin Connects uh, running. But if you want the calendar events, music controls, and weather, and probably certain other apps, you have to have the Garmin Connects running. Uh, I'm going to turn off the Garmin Connects now and show you. And there you go. See, the weather just says connect to Garmin uh, Connects. Same with the calendar and the music controls. But you still have your step and your notifications. So I'm going to turn that back on. And after a couple seconds, it'll say connecting here. And then you have your different controls and all that stuff is back up. Um, so uh, one big thing is uh, when you download the Garmin Connects, it's probably going to ask you uh, to turn on location services and possibly notifications. Um, I said no to the location services because I like to have the weather app and the music controls and all that stuff running constantly. And if you have location services, it's really going to eat up the battery life on your phone. So you don't really want that to happen. So um, if you disable the location services on Garmin Connects, you can have it up and running and it won't eat up a lot of battery juice. So I'm going to show you um, if you accidentally configured it with location services on. If you click on your settings, go down to privacy, click on location services. All these items here are apps that want to access your location. Um, and you can set each one of these manually. You can set them. Uh, usually they have three different uh, options. I'll show you in the connects. They'll have uh, never, which I've chose for that, um, while using the app, or always. So if you have always, it doesn't matter if the app's running or not. It's going to be checking your location, and it'll really burn up your battery juice. Um, if you want to have all these widgets running, you actually have to have the Garmin Connects running. So... If you choose while using the app, it's just like saying it's always on and it's going to burn up your battery. So I select never because there's really no benefit to having location services for the Garmin Connect. Uh, not that I can figure out at least. So I set that to never and always keep it running in the background and my battery life lasts pretty long. Um, I don't notice any decline with it running or if it's, uh, if it's turned off. So... Um, that's how you do that. The uh, notifications themselves correlate to all your different apps on here. Um, sometimes you might under you might wonder, you know, how do I close the notifications on my Garmin uh, device? Well, you really can't close them on your Garmin device. You actually have to close them on your phone. This is just uh, kind of repeating what what is available on your phone. Um, so if you actually go into the app itself and open up one of these mails and then close them out, it'll actually uh, disappear from your notifications. Uh, a quicker way is to swipe down 
and you'll see notifications up at the top. Uh, this this will mirror exactly what's on there. So if I want to close this Gmail notification, I can just hit on the little X, press clear, and it disappears. And both of these say no notifications. Um, a lot of apps, when you load them onto your iPhone, will actually ask about the location services and also notifications. And most people just say yes to both of those questions. Um, so if you come on to the settings and you click on notifications, you'll see includes here. That'll be all the different apps that are sending notifications to your phone and vice versa to your Garmin device. So you might want to look through here and filter out the ones that you want and don't want. If, if for instance, I didn't want this Strava notification anymore, I would just click on it and uncheck the allow notifications. And it would disappear from the includes list and add it to the do not includes list. I actually want that one, so I'll turn it back on. So that's the quick and dirty on how to configure the notifications. Um, it's pretty nice. Um, to, to get. Uh, this is a really nice device so I always have my phone in my pocket and now I can just look at my wrist and say okay it's an email I want to check or something I don't want to check so um, it's pretty good and like I said to get notifications you just have to have your uh, Garmin device connected to your phone via Bluetooth you do not have to have the the Connects app running so um, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on notifications in your Garmin device um, if you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel.